This sentence about the rent to buy programs has a very long underlined part. And sometimes what's helpful when you have a very long underlined part is to try and read it without what's called the fluff. Now this would be, the fluff would be prepositional phrases and modifiers, and just to see the basic core structure of the sentence. So for example, here we have this pair of long prepositional phrases with insufficient savings for a conventional down payment. Lots of big words there. Suppose we just read A without that. We just leave that out and read A. Rent to buy programs that enable a family to be able to move. Hold on a second. That enable to be able. That's just completely redundant. In other words, you wouldn't necessarily hear that redundancy because there was a long set of prepositional phrases between them. That's why it's important to drop that and then it's more obvious. Okay, A is completely redundant, A is out. E also has this enable to be able pair. Also redundant, also out. So that leaves us with B, C, and D. So these programs allow the people to do two things. And these two things have to be in parallel. Remember, the GMAT is in love with parallel structure. So those two things are to move and to apply. That's perfect parallel structure. To move, comma, to apply. There's something a little bit funky about that. We're going to go back to that. To move and then applying, that's definitely a failure parallel structure. Those two are not parallel, so D is out. We go back to C, we're a little bit suspicious of C already, and we notice that C is the only one that has a semicolon. Whenever you have the word that following a semicolon, it really refers back to everything before the semicolon, the entire set of conditions or the entire set of actions that were occurring in the clause before the semicolon. That's not really what we want here. We're not saying that this entire action, the many how house builders offering rent to buy programs, not that action, it's act that that should be referring to the programs themselves. And for that, a semicolon just does not work. So C is out. And that leaves us with B, which is one of the shortest answers. It is free of grammatical errors. It is direct and clear. It is by far the best answer.